Okay, it's random. Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my guinea pig supplies featuring Rhino, clearly. <laughs> so let's get started. So just remember, I have got a few things downstairs as well. So I'm just gonna show you all my guinea pig bowls first because apparently I have quite a lot. So I've got this one, which is from Pets at Home. It was like four pound. And I've also got the same one in orange. Um, and then I have this black one which says nibble. You can get this from Pets at Home but only in green. And then somewhere I've got another one of these that's orange that says munch. Couldn't find it though. Then I've also got this beaker bowl which is basically a bowl from Pets at Home that if you throw it in like a dump or something it will like biodegrade. Just like biodegradable plastic. And then I've got this cute guinea pig bowl, which I got from Zoo Plus for like two pound. And then I've also got another bowl that's quite big and it says guinea pig on it, which I also got from Pets at Home, but that's downstairs in the guinea pig's cage. And then for my guinea pig's food, I've got this bag of nature's torch. And then I keep my food inside these tubs, so this is one inch touch in there. It's just got a tablespoon in because that's how I measure my guinea pig's food. And then I've also got this one with the Nature's Touch food in, but as you can see, Nature's Touch food, rosewood science selected pellets. And as you can see, it's basically empty, so I need to get some more of them. Rhino loves those pellets, I don't know why. Every time I like put them into the bowl, he always has to have one. And then I've also got my guinea pig's water bottles. So I have three of these. Um, these are just a large bottle. I also got this blue bottle, I've got a purple one of these as well, but that's obviously inside the guinea pig's cage. And then I've got quite a few of these mason jars that have guinea pig treats in, that are also inside the guinea pig's cage. And then I've also got this tub, which I used to keep guinea pig treats in, but now I've got nothing in it. I don't know, comment down below what I could use this tub for, never found a purpose for it. Um, and then I have a bag of pea flakes. All guinea pig owners need pea flakes, they're their guinea pig's favourite. So let's get on to like toys. So I've got this rock and roller, they've got one of these inside their cage, they're not big fans of it, so I just kept one inside this packet. And then I've got plenty of these dumbbells, Rhino's just sniffing everything. I've also got two of these, I don't know, treat balls, they're not very big fans of these either. And then I've got this veg ball, which I don't usually use. I don't know why I'm not using it again. And then I've also got a veg skewer, which I also don't use. They don't hold enough veg, in my opinion. And then I've also got this bottle cover. It's completely useless. I would never buy one. I would just use a sock. This cost me seven pound. And when you put it on the bottle, the um, like the wire thing you get with it that holds the bottle on, um doesn't fit on it so unless you're going to use wire to tie your balls up then I wouldn't get one of them and then I've also got a guinea pig harness which my parents got me for Christmas like two years ago and I've never used it no one wanted me to try it on Mickey it didn't fit him um, so I've just kind of kept it probably never going to use it I don't really agree with harnesses on pets and then I've got these two hay racks which are just like they're really small not very great, so I don't use these. Don't really know why I bought them. These cost me, I think, nearly four pound each. Gosh knows what he's doing. So, waste money. <laughs> and then I bought these ones, which are much bigger. They're quite a decent size. These are for the hutch now, but we haven't put them in yet, just because I lost some of the screws. Smart me, I've only got four and I need eight. So yeah, these were £1.99, so those are definitely worth them money. And then I have this blue high down. I've also got a pink one of these. They're from Pets at Home and they were like £6 or something. And then I've also got one of the American igloo things. It's pink. I got that from some random shop. That cost me £8. Um, I got this for Christmas. I thought I would just show it. It's a guinea pig. Plant pot. Well, it's not a guinea pig, it's like a pig. I'm gonna put herbs in it for the guinea pigs so they can like forage themselves because they won't be able to knock it over because it's quite heavy. And then over here I've got this small red litter tray. It's really like shallow, that's why I like it. And then I've also got two grey ones which are inside the guinea pig's cage. Let me just like ride it one. And then I've also got this corn litter tray which was 
three pound i think it's really small the guinea pigs can't actually fit in it i don't think so i prefer cat little trays living world teach and treat toy thing i got this for the guinea pigs christmas i haven't used it yet um the dogs really seem to like it i put treats in it for bambi and right now i'm ready to share them off so yeah i really appreciate them then i've also got two guinea pig beds got this one which is fondly summer range last year i never actually use these beds but i always pick them up anyway because like when they go to reduce it's five pounds which is really cheap for a bed for a guinea pig so i thought i would get it i'm probably gonna put it in the cage when i switch them onto fleas then i also bought this christmas one i don't like the feel of this bit so i probably flip it over because that's like nice and soft for the pigs and then i've also got this cuddle cup i think that's what they're called which I bought for Mickey ages ago when it was like really cold outside so we could snuggle up in it and um, I don't really think Bambi's have used it but this is probably going to go back in the cage again I'm going to redo it then I've also got this really big hay rack it's actually like a garden hanger but it's these things are perfect for hay racks for guinea pigs because they can't get in the gaps and like, they're pretty decent gaps so they can get hay out of and then I've also got another one of these this one's like when you hang like that I don't know, I'm gonna use it inside when I redo the cage. Um, obviously, it needs a clean mum to use it for plants. I was like, oh, people use them for hay rack, so she let me have one. So, yeah, I've got that. And then my dad bought this where, before we even got Mickey and Dumbo, and he built a horch that didn't fit, and then we got a new horch that didn't fit, and now we get rid of the horch, so I've just kind of got it. Maybe one day I'll get a horch that fits. So it's like, it was. First five pound new, we got it from a car boot, brand new for like, I don't know, a five or something, so my dad got it. And then I've also got my guinea pig carrier, which is really heavy. Um, every time the guinea pig does it, I just wipe it down. So it's a cat carrier, it's a really decent size. I got it because I had three guinea pigs at the time, so it was always like good in case they all needed to go somewhere at the same time, which is usually when I bring them up for photo shoots and stuff. So it doesn't actually have a clip just because I did buy one of Amazon but then it didn't have some pieces so then I took, returned it and then we found it on a car boot for £8 so we just got it. It doesn't have a clip like I said. I just use like, I don't know, like a piece of string, something to keep it closed if we're going in the car or something. Then also like the food dishes that go here are missing but like the guinea pigs couldn't use them anyway. It's a really good carrier. And then I've also got these two Christmas trees which I thought I would show. I bought these when they were reduced on the Christmas stuff for £3 each. I'm going to use them next year. And then I've got loads of these tubes. Guinea pigs all done. Um, they're just from a carpet for when we redid Ellie's room and I thought I'd keep the tubes because obviously the guinea pigs can use them. And then next I've got this, which is basically just like my health check basket. Um, because I put the guinea pigs in it, it's perfect size for me to weigh them. So in here I've just got some shampoo. At the start of the summer, when it starts to come on, both the guinea pigs are going to have a bath. So I feel like they need it, and I always feel like it's winter right now, so like it's starting to get sunny, as you can tell. I've also got some syringes. Um, this grooming brush, which is pretty good. The guinea pigs don't like this side, though. And then I've got this finger groomer, which I got from Pets at Home. And then we've also got some nail clippers. And then this nail file that Selena bought from Misty ages ago. Never used it. Who knows why? Never said the basket I wear them in. And then, when they're up here, I've got the kitchen skills because this is what I wear in my guinea pig with. So, downstairs at the guinea pig cage, I do have a bendy log bridge. And then I also have uh, another bendy log bridge, two of those like platform hideout things. I don't really know what you would call. And then I've also got like a little house type thing that's downstairs but there's one bendy look bridge in the game cage and then the rest of them actually need jet washing and they've all been outside for like the whole of winter so they need to clean so yeah they just kind of got silking so i didn't really want to bring them upstairs so yeah i think that's all of my guinea pig supplies so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you want us to make a video for you guys and um, just comment them down below and we'll be sure to make them for you and thinking about making a hamster one of these so if you want to see that give the video a big thumbs up bye okay it has been taz i forgot some things so 
yeah, I'm just gonna add them on to the end of the video. Please don't hate me. Um, so I've got this high down, which is from Pet to Home, which is just where I store all tubes and cardboards for the guinea pigs. This is gonna go inside their hutch, and then obviously they have the bluebell hutch from Pet to Home, which we're actually selling just because it's not working out for me. And then obviously the guinea pigs have their shed. So yeah, that's all for the guinea pig supplies. <laughs> Bye.